Hello everyone, White Mage Serenia here, welcoming you back to Let's Replay Mega Man X3, Mega Man X Collection. In our last episode, we took down, um, uh, oh yeah, we took down, yeah, Blast Hornet. We took down Blast Hornet, and, Blast Hornet, Pro, uh, Blizzard Buffalo, Blast Hornet, Blizzard Buffalo. Um, yeah, and then we went into Blizzard Buffalo's level and picked up the heart container there. So, in today's episode... Volt Catfish. <laughs> Volt Catfish. <laughs> We're going to get a lot done in this episode, so it's probably going to be one of the longer ones in this series. Alright, we do actually want to go ahead and fall down here. This looks like a weird armor plating. Do I get the ultimate? Oh, nope, it teleported me away. We are going to go fight something in this place. I don't know what we're going to fight. Well, the elevators still aren't working, so that's okay. I don't remember how to get this working, but that's okay, because I never used them. Even if I did, I would still use this to wall kick. That's why there's what health on the way up to you. Help you jump off the walls and the look. Oh, look, we're at the, the boss already. Isn't that fun? Oh, hi. <laughs> You're trapped, X. File? Zero and I destroyed you years ago! <laughs> this factory is set to blow in a matter of minutes. Until then, I'll try to keep you busy. Now, for Vile, just treat him like he did Tunnel Rhino, at least while he's in his right armor. But, he's gonna stop when you jump over him, so you wanna kinda be tactful of that. So just lure him as close to the wall as you can, and just to keep basically follow my pattern and you should get him. Know, of course, that he has a few seconds before he actually reacts once you uh, get him into this game like this. So... Also, try not to overcharge your buster either, because if you saw earlier when I was in the purple charge, it did kind of screw my pattern up. So just kind of get, get, you, get yourself in a rhythm and get to the, it's where you get to the second charge before you uh, fire it. Now, for Vile himself, his pattern changes up a little bit. He'll do a jump to flame dash, and he'll climb the wall and shoot homing bullets. But other than that, it's not too hard. He just do that, and then he's going to go bullet, 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 bullet. So you just run towards him, run towards him, then you end up dodge the bullets. You run towards him. Well, sometimes you'll still maybe get hit. But alternately, you can just hug the wall like that. Oh, well, don't dash into him. Oh, God. There we go. Might have to use a sub tank or something. There we go. Yeah, I've got his pattern down now. Sorry, Vile. You can no longer touch me. Now, here it doesn't matter how much you overcharge, because. You have plenty of time to react. Even if you doubly so if you shoot these off the wall. Okay, when he's low enough on health, shoot to your own machine gun. think this is the end, X. I will hunt you to the day you die. If you hit, er, if you defeat Vile with the Race Blasher, guess what? Boom! He goes kablooey! And therefore, you do not actually have to fight him as a boss in the later levels. Which, of course, changes that stage drastically. Now, we need to get out of here. 
Yeah. Oh, definitely want to get that. Your uh, frost shield will destroy those things in one hit. I gotta remember that I said that a few seconds after I actually did that. That way I can sync up the audio properly. Yay, but we're good now. Whoop, yeah! Whatever will I do? I got plenty of time to kill. Goodbye. <laughs> now it takes us back to the start of the level, which is fine by me. Man, I never can, like, time those lasers consistently. Oh well. Over on the wall, pop up. You just want to ride the elevator all the way up to this side here. And now th this one's a little bit tricky. You might actually die, but when, as soon as you grab it... No! Well, as I said, you might die. Freaking... That annoys me, though, because I hit my jump button, but it didn't actually register. In fact, he bunny-hopped on me and clinged to the wall again, and then when I hit the jump button again, he didn't want to react, so... Oh, well. You know, crap happens, eh? Thankfully, though, in later installments of the game, they don't really put uh, heart containers and stuff like that that you more or less have to suicide for. They put risky ones in, but nowhere near as risky as the ones in uh, Overdrive Ostrich and, and uh, the heart container in this level. Or heart tank, rather. Okay, now we want to go this way. Although it still, you know, it still begs the question: How in the world are those spikes destroying Mega Man in a single hit, and yet all these big baddie robots can't do it? I don't get it. Okay, now for here, you want to climb all the way up to the side of the wall again, and you want to charge up your gravity well. Bam! And it'll move this platform way up here, allowing you to hop over here. Enter this capsule, X. Take this armor upgrade. The upgrade will decrease the damage done to your systems. Are you, as you receive damage, a defense field will be generated to protect you. Bow. <laughs> Now then, you know, something else that begs the question is Dr. Light created Mega Man X, you know, so many years ago, and then he was buried and then died, and then if Mega Man X was unearthed by Dr. Kane, why is Dr. Light capsules all over the place in different levels? I mean, you would think that unless Dr. Light went to all these places just, just for the sole purpose of, um, I don't know. It's just one of those weird things you think about, because there's no way in hell Dr. Light would have went to all these locations and hidden armor capsules. There's no way he would have thought that far ahead. Oh well, game logic. Nice to meet you, X. I am Light. I've been programmed to exterminate you. Now, Bite is no trouble at all. He's going to throw a magnet at the wall, dash. Throw a magnet at the wall, dash. So just try to stay towards the top of the wall, and then when he throws that magnet, just dash over him when he does that. Turn and fire your buster. Pop, pop. Watch for the magnet. Dash. I remember when I was younger, he used to give me a hell of a lot of trouble, but that's just because... Well, he hits like a truck if, he allow, if you allow him to hit you. So in other words, the secret to beating him? Don't get hit. And just like with Bite, I will show you how to destroy him before you actually have to fight him in the boss levels. Pop, pop. I 
actually like the fact that you can alternate or alter Mega Man X3 based on how you play. I like that. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and get our Tornado Fang ready. Boop, boop. I wonder if they fixed the typo. No! How can this great power can- Nope, they didn't fix the typo. No! How can this great power can be generated from within such an ancient machine? Well done, X. The victory is yours. Man, for some reason my uh, pinnacle just dropped 101 frames out of nowhere. I wonder what caused that. Oh well, hopefully it won't interfere with the video too, too much. Probably just going to cause a stutter at some point or something. That's all I'm hoping. Anyway, go ahead and climb up the wall here. And get on the uh, ride armor platform. I knew this was going to be a longer episode, though. Yep, just fall down, you'll break through the ground here. And, oh look, our fourth sub-tank. Now we just want to go ahead and climb back up the wall. Blast, blast. Yeah, whatever. You can hit me, I don't care. Ah, the way the audio is stuttering, I'm almost afraid that there's gonna that the game thing's gonna drop more frames. Yep, just dropped five more for no reason. I wonder what, I wonder what's causing that. Well, in any case, we're at the boss now. Hi there! Now, let's get Tornado Fang ready. I should have had it at the ready already, but whatever. Ow! Wang! No lightning storm for you, buddy. Well, you can try to use Triad Thunder, but it's not going to do much good for you. <laughs> now you're mine. Because basically at this point in the match, he's just going to keep jumping towards the center. So you can even just stand still if you want. I wonder. I want to charge this drill and see what happens. Nope, he's just too out of range. <laughs> so pretty much, once you get him to the point where he's just jumping towards the center of the room, literally, all you gotta do is just hold your square button and, make, and X will just charge and hit him with the charge drill. Char you know, hit him with the charge drill. Okay. Jeez! What the hell? It's dropping frames like a crazy person now. It's at 233 frames dropped. What the hell? It's just randomly stuttering. There's nothing that's actually causing that, unless there's something in my... Uh, I don't know, man. That's weird. Anyways. Let's uh, save on a different file just in case I have to re-record. Let's return to the game. Because before I actually officially wrap this video up, we're going to go over to Tunnel Rhino's level. Because we have a couple things we can pick up here. Yeah, I don't care about those boulders. They can smash down on me all they want. Now we need to go over here and charge Triad Thunder. Kablam! 
And we get a heart container. Or heart piece. Or heart tank, rather. Get around a second. Yeah! Up, up, up! Dash. So I knew this one was gonna be a longer episode. The fact that it's dropped 233 frames, though, has me a little bit worried. Because, that, well, that is 233 out of, like, probably over a thousand or more, so... It's not too, too bad, I guess. Alright, so Bit, Bite, and Vile are all three dead. Hmm, how about that? Yep, just got out of my way. Just instantly blow you up. Ah, yep, yeah, by the thing. I don't care about the energy, just go! There we go. <sighs> Once again, Giant Thunder. Do that trick. Bam! Into this capsule, X. Take this sensory upgrade for your helmet. The upgrade will help you to find hidden items based on the satellite readings. You should be able to tell the exact location of items using its ground-penetrating radar. It's just dropping frames like crazy, dropping them like crazy. It just went from 233 to 697. Oh man! Anyway, this is gonna be where I stop for this video. Alright, guys, this is gonna be where I sign off for this episode of Let's Play or Replay Mega Man X3. In the next episode, um, we shall uh, go from there. We will probably tackle Crush Crawfish, perhaps? I don't know. Anyway, guys, I will see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching.